hi and welcome back to Stone Ranger. Hope everybody's safe and well and thanks for joining me on today's video. So today's video has all come from a guy sending me a question saying is it acceptable for him to practice his stone carving on a sand and cement mix and straight away I can't see there's any problem with that actually I think there might be quite a few benefits for it. I think it's going to be cheaper than buying stone. Um, I think it's going to be better for you so you can practice your techniques, the way you're holding your chisels. I think that'll be a lot better. I think sharpening your chisels, it'll not be as aggressive on your chisels so you can sharpen them, really take your time. Less wear and tear on your chisels, which again is saving you money because tungsten chip chisels are not cheap. Um, so you're going to have to sharpen them less on the sand and cement. So I think there might be a lot of benefits and just overall practice on there. Just draw roughly draw some stuff on before you invest in some really nice stone. So what I've done, I've nipped down to my local hardware shop and bought some multi-purpose uh, mortar from Tarmac. So this is five kilograms. It's cost me about seven pounds. It says it lays five or six bricks you can render with it and it'll point 25 bricks there's not loads in there but i think it might work well had a quick feel through the bike so there's nothing too gritty in there which is nice and what i've done just with some leftovers a bit of ply a bit of timber I've been making this frame so this is about 20 mil thick um 25 mil possibly and i'm just going to put an, an end piece on here now so i'll cut and screw that on there and then we'll mix some mortar up we'll float it off and then we'll leave this for a few days, let it really cure, and then we'll have a go at carving it. Right, let's crack on. So that's all dry now. I actually took this home, put it in the kitchen, and I've left this two two days, maybe two and a half days. Um, so we're going to unscrew it. We'll take all the frame off. I'm going to give it a slight rub down with some sandpaper, just take the uh, the air bubbles off the top where we shook it out, um, and then we'll probably put a little chamfer on it with a sintride file. Then we'll mark it with a stencil. So I've just printed this out. So it's 105. We'll chop it out like we normally do with a Stanley knife. Didn't want to get the machine out what makes us the um, the template just for something so simple. Plus also it shows you the simplest way to do it is print a number out on your computer, stick it to a piece of card, glue it on if you can. I've just got some sellotape around the edges, Stanley knife around it and mark it on. So we'll do that now and then we'll sharpen the chisels up and then we'll get carving.
So you've just seen me carve that up there and then run round with a Sintrad file. I've put a little bit of black paint on it just because it was going to waste and I thought we may as well use it up and it highlights what we've done today on here. So would I recommend this as a way to practice? I definitely would. I think it's a great way. I wouldn't, one thing I'd be careful of, I wouldn't make your tablet any slimmer than 20 mil. I'd possibly go 25, 30 if possible, just because of the uh, thickness of these letters, it'd be very easy to carve all the way through. But if you go for a smaller letter, that's fine. But no, it's a great way to practice, great way to hold your hammer, get used to delicate work, getting in the corners. You can just draw freehand on it, or you can make a stencil. Um, and really get used to your chisels working in and out in corners, round on the corners here, around on the curve on the five here. I think it would work really well. So yeah, it's a great idea to practice on that. So yeah, I'm going to stick that to one side now, let it dry up. I might stick some um, seal on there and see how that reacts with it. But I think that will be good. So that's it. That's um, the end of the video. If you've liked that video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And in the next video, I'm going to be carving... Um, piece of stone back to back to Derbyshire Gritston next time on the cheapest stone chisels you can buy on the internet. Thanks for watching.